everyone welcome to another video there was a lot of confusion about what kind of luggage you should take and i have a bunch of luggages behind me right here i'm gonna walk you through all of them my favorite luggage piece is this of course is my backpack i bought this backpack recently you don't have to buy a backpack like this but now with the two check-ins the check-in suitcases there's only one carry-on allowed so what i usually do when there's only one carry-on allowed is I take this suitcase, which is a carry-on size, and this right here, and I stuff my backpack into that. That makes my life easy. I don't have to carry a very heavy laptop. I don't have to carry any tech gadgets, and everything is in there, which I can easily roll. I would also recommend you to buy any kind of piece of luggage with four wheels. Four wheels are super important. You can buy a soft case or a hard case luggage, but four wheels is super important. The way I'm able to roll it, like just, just roll it around. You cannot do that with two wheels luggage. So the first questions, of course, your backpack, keep your laptop in there, keep your passport in there, keep some extra money in there. If you want to keep your passport in your uh, pocket, you can do that as well. But that's the carry on side of stuff. There is two different types of airlines now. One who allows you a laptop bag and a carry on suitcase and one which doesn't one which only allows you a carry-on merge these two and take it with you hopefully they don't check it but in case they check it what you can do is like keep it light at first or maybe wear like an extra jacket and then just slide it in there what i've also done is i bought some stuff from indian airport because it's cheaper than buying it from the u.s airport and kept like chocolates and snacks and everything in my carry-on bag because once you do the check-in nobody's going to check your carry on uh, weight anymore now comes the suitcases the type of suitcases big small so there's two soft cases right now because my wife has the hard case luggage she's gone to michigan and she has taken it so i have two of these this is the medium size and this is the full size there's stuff in here but this is the full size suitcase both of these have traveled internationally with us no problems at all I like the large size because when you are filling up clothes, you need the large size suitcase to fit everything in. With this kind of luggage piece, um, it's good for food items because the food items take up uh, take up space really quickly and fills up the weight really quickly. So these suitcases work well. I have, I think I've used this suitcase since 2017, I believe, and I have no complaints. I had a, my wife had a hard case luggage like this and it was a carlton bag carlton bags are very nice it was a carlton bag but due to mishandling at the airport which can happen all the time her bag got broken from right here um we can send it for warranty but it's a nightmare to send it for warranty so you can go for a soft luggage like this and it wouldn't be a problem i like for carry-ons i like hard luggages because it's just more sturdier when you're keeping your laptop less damage to your laptop and just makes it easy for you as per the international regulations these two suitcases which you're going to take or which you're going to check in at the airport is going to be not more than 23 kgs the rules and regulations because of, is that if anything's over 50 pounds you need two people to handle it that's why they charge you extra if something's over 50 pounds with the carry-ons they hardly check now but honestly if you try convincing the flight attendant and tell them that hey i'm a student i'm flying out soon please help me out here uh, there's so much stuff I have to take. I like there's literally just my laptop and like some gadgets here. Help me out. Maybe you fill up some of the heavy gadgets in your pocket if you can. But usually flight attendants are attendants are really understanding in those cases and they will let you fly. My another hack to avoid these kind of heavy backpacks is that keep I keep my laptop and everything in there. Now I still need like you know to carry my water bottle or carry some stuff like passport i don't want to keep it in my pocket what if it slides out i keep a small bag like this in my carry-on this is i just bought it off amazon a very very small backpack just a sling backpack like this it slings like this or you can sling it like this you have your passports and everything you can keep it in there i've seen people carrying like a satchel on the side as well that's a very good option another hack which i've seen people using is using a straight up cardboard box that's it you pack all of your clothes or some things which you won't have the risk of opening it up at the airport and you cling wrap it. You just seal wrap it all over the place. You tape it and then just send it. 
I have brought a box like that. Um, you know, my mother-in-law gave me um, gave me like a small statue of Saraswati Ma, and we brought that as is in a box. It was wrapped up. All I did was put together two of these suitcases and keep the box in there on this and just take it with me. Um, made my life easier. I would recommend not getting or not going for a duffel bag like this. See, the problem with a duffel bag is light. It doesn't have its weight, a weight of its own. So you can fit in a lot of stuff and it will take a lot of it stuff. But always carry one suitcase at least with duffel bag so that you can just put, it, put your duffel bag like this and you know, uh, you don't have to hang it on your shoulder and take it with you. US airports are fucking shit. Honestly, they are shit. Why? Because they don't even give you a card. If you want to rent out a card, it will be $7, $8. So what do you do? You buy suitcases and just drag it along. Let's say you just want to buy one suitcase. You don't want to invest too much. A duffel bag is a great alternative, but make sure you practice or you just keep it here and then carry it around. Just carry it around. And these are medium and large sizes. These are both acceptable suitcase sizes. So honestly, when you go buy luggage, I wouldn't worry about it too much. You just tell them that, hey, I'm flying internationally. Which luggage would be the large one? Large one is better for clothes. Small one is better for, um, what do you call? Better for food. And then make sure, um, this one has a TSA lock. Make sure you have a TSA lock like this. A TSA lock is something which TSA, TSA is the airport security um, in US. They can put in a key and open it up in case they want to do a checking. What I found is Ziplocs. Ziplocs are really cheap. You can find it at any of the stationeries. Um, I think you can get like 10 for 10 rupees or something that cheap and carry some Ziplocs in your, in your backpack and just put it on your suitcase once it's all checked in and you can send it over. And let's say your Ziploc's open, you know, at least like nobody else is gonna open it. It will be like this airport security which will open it and no, nobody else. Hope this helps. I know I spoke a lot and I spoke really fast. Um, my recommendation is going with these two bags and getting packing cube. Packing cubes help really when you're packing t-shirts, shirts, pants, you pack them separately and you can like, keep it tidy. Um, this carry on bag, I would recommend you highly to bring it because this is one bag which you will be traveling the most with whenever you're flying domestic here. Um, it makes a huge difference and makes it so easy because domestic airlines here only allows a carry on and you can do this carry on and a backpack like that or you can just, just do carry on if you don't have much weight to travel around with. I, I bought this bag here. I had a different carry on. We still use it very much. So on a day to day basis, they're working really fine for us. Um, I'll, I'll leave the link of a couple of things here. But thank you so much guys for watching this one. Hope this was useful. And if you have any questions, uh, comment down below. I'll be able to help you out. Too many luggage.